Hey, how's everyone doing today? It's Mike uh, back with you in the air here. Um, I hope all everyone's been well. And uh, I've got a really cool kind of flight today uh, for you. So um, I'm in Kerrville, Texas right now, which is in the hill country of Texas, a beautiful little spot. And uh, once in a while, um, I like to get out and just do some training on some shorter runways. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be doing a takeoff, a short field takeoff out of one of the smaller runways here, uh, runway 21. And uh, we're going to stay in the pattern one time, and uh, we're going to uh, come around and land to do a short field landing. Uh, we'll taxi back and take off, and we'll take off back to Austin and uh, catch up, catch our IFR plan uh, on the way over there and uh, land into a big runway at uh, Austin Bergstrom Airport. So it should be a really cool flight. Um, like I said, um, you know, I'm really used to landing at big runways and big airports, and uh, once in a while it's really good to get out. Also, there's a bit of a crosswind today, so it's uh, really good uh, just training to do that. So I've got the plane on, I've got it all set up, and uh, we're going to get out to, uh, to runway uh, 21 and uh, fly the pattern, uh, taxi back, and uh, take off uh, for Austin. Um, one of the other things to note, this is an uncontrolled field, so there's no tower here, so you've got to call out your own positions, and um, there's a bigger runway here, so we just got to make sure there aren't any other planes in the pattern. But it uh, should, be, should be fun, and uh, looking forward to it, and uh, thanks for, uh, for coming along for the flight. So we'll go ahead and get started here. And Kerrville traffic, TBM 910 Tango Bravo is on the ramp, and we'll be taxiing out to, to runway 21, and uh, we'll be staying in the pattern uh, one time uh, for a full stop landing. Uh, we'll be practicing a short field landing here, and uh, we'll call our, our patterns uh, Kerrville. All right, so just let everybody know that what we're doing, and uh, we're taxiing out here. A little bit of different camera setup today, so uh, hopefully uh, this will work out. I've got a, uh, a new camera uh, that's kind of given the, the, the big view. I've got a camera on the side. Hopefully everyone can see what's going on. And um, then um, I've got the camera up front as well. So uh, we'll see how my editing skills do to kind of let everybody see how this, uh, this will feel today. So, um, so again, we're at Kerrville. Uh, the field altitude here is about 1,600 feet is the country of Texas. Uh, it's just a, a gorgeous spot here in Texas, and uh, I like to come out here. They're friendly. Um, it's easy to kind of get in. It's okay to be in a bigger airplane, and um, like I said, it's a, it's a good little uh, little practice site. So uh, off to runway 21 we go, and uh, we'll do all short field takeoff. Hopefully that camera on the front will hang. Uh, Mooney is based here, so uh, this is actually the airport where they do uh, uh, a lot of their manufacturing, and I actually think it's their... their headquarters here, so uh, you'll get a good shot of that here at the front. So that's uh, all the warehouses for Mooney, and as you know, they make a great, great aircraft. Um, so all right, here we go. Set my heading bug on 210. The pattern altitude here is about 3,100 feet for TBM. It's about 1,500 feet above the pattern. And um, so when it doesn't look like there's any traffic here right now, we'll take a look, which is uh, really nice. We'll be able to do a, a good clean one. And really the only difference is on a short field takeoff is you're holding the brakes and you're giving full power as you go. And obviously the idea is to try to get in the air as quick as you can and safe. Um, and then on the landing, um, the key on the landing here is, you know, just stick your spot and uh, not a lot of float down the, uh, down the landing. This plane really takes about 2,500 feet, just more or less average, to take off or land. And uh, this, this runway is in the 3,000, so we've got plenty of uh, a space. But what makes this runway unique is it's pretty thin. Um, so a lot of runways are 100 feet wide. This one's about 50 feet wide, so it feels very different when you're coming in. And uh, again, it just makes it fun, and you've just really got to stick the airplane uh, where you want it. Um, if I'm not set up right or I'm not feeling good with the winds or anything else, I'll do a go-around. I've got no problem with that, so uh, no pride in that. It's good to be safe. So, uh, so we'll see what we got, but uh, I come out here quite a bit and do this, and uh, this is a good little runway to practice on. I'm going to get the plane all set up, and uh, we're, we're pretty good here, so uh, we'll get the pitos on. Everything on, go all the way around. Everything is good. I've already been through my checklists, so uh, we'll give it, a, give it a whirl here. And it uh, should be a lot of fun here. And like I said, we're going to do just one pattern, and then we'll do a full stop, taxi back, and then we'll take off uh, for Austin. You can see the hills out there, just how gorgeous it is here. So, uh, 
so it's uh, a lot of fun. Pull the engine one more time here. And we're good all the way around. All right, so here's runway 21, and uh, let's get going here, and I hope this camera will stay up top here that I've got on the, on the dash. And Kerrville traffic, uh, TBM 910 Tango Bravo is taking runway 21 for departure. Uh, we'll be staying in the pattern one time, full stop, uh, Kerrville. All right, there we go. We self-announced. Everything is clear. There are no planes in the pattern. And let's set up for our short field takeoff. So you want to use all the runway you can. I'm not turning here on the yellow line. I'm staying all the way here. You can see when you guys see the setup here how thin this runway is. It feels like you're on a road we go and there are hills in front of us as well so we want to make sure we get this right all right so brakes are on and uh, here's the procedure so uh, all the way around to my flow we're looking good and we'll start to bring the power forward and like I said I'm holding the brakes this time there we go we'll release it and the power is all the way forward now so we got max thrust stay in the center line here which is always kind of the hardest part with this plane a lot of right rudder Airspeed's alive, engines are all in the green, we're at 72, and we are at our rotate speed already, look at that. We go. A good positive rate, gears coming up. Turn our damper on. There we go. Pressure on. to go to our 31. She climbs really well. And we're going to go ahead and turn. I'm going to keep my flaps in at 50 for this just because it's uh, pretty quick and around. So um, this keeps us a little bit slower. There are a lot of smaller airplanes here. So we want to make sure that we're not going too fast in the pattern here. There's a big runway on the left. And Kerrville traffic, TBM 910 Tango Bravo, turning left cross wind, runway 21, full stop, Kerrville. All right, there's our 3100 on the altitude, so we'll bring the power back. Level off at 21, uh, 3100, we nailed that. And we're on a crosswind. Look back at the runway. Some visual points, so this is VFR flying, and uh, you know we want to make sure we've got our visual points picked. We'll go ahead and turn our downwind now. Kerrville traffic, TBM 910 Tango Bravo turning left downwind runway 21, full stop Kerrville. Right, still got the runway in sight, that's the most important part. Bring my power back a little bit. Traffic, champ 93, 7, 1 to 1. At the center point VOR, outbound for the approach to Kerrville. Alright, so we got another guy coming in, so we're on our downwind here. Point, we're going to bring our gear in. We'll start our descent, so it's really, really quick. We start going down. We've got the runway in sight. We're right at the numbers. Start to slow her down. Absurd 50. I got three greens. Gear is down. Still see my runway. There's no traffic in the area. Trim her up a little bit. There are a couple of hills here, so we actually kind of lose sight of the runway as we're going down. And we'll put it down here to... Turn. And Kerrville traffic, uh, TBM turning left base, runway 21, full stop, Kerrville. Watching my airspeed, we're at about 100 knots. More power, we're getting a little low. And I see the runway peeking out around that... Uh, around the hill there. There we go. Got quite a bit of wind today and I said we got a little bit of a crosswind so we're gonna really nurse it in here. But go full flaps here. And look, you can go full flaps on your base leg or you can go full flaps on final and I'm flying a bit of a tight pattern here so I'm gonna get all set up nicely. We can nail this. And we'll start turning in, power down, we're at 90 knots. And Kerrville traffic, uh, TBM turning final, runway 21, full stop Kerrville. Here we go. There's a runway, if you guys can see it. Uh, 
my damper off. Don't need that. We're right on at 90 knots. It is windy today. You can see that is a small runway. It looks really small compared to what we're used to here. Firmer up really good. So we are fully established. We got a good speed here. We've got our uh, is down, separator is on, flaps are down, and we are good to go. 500. There's our 500 marker. I have to try to get the bullseye right on the runway here, and you can see the wind is blowing us a little bit to the right, a little bit of a crosswind. So we want to check that. At 85. Oh, there's the runway. We got it made. It's good. Everything looks good. Start to pull back on the throttle a little bit. Oh, we've made the runway. So let's Air speed. Down. Perfect. Look at that. All right. Good, put it in the reverse. Flaps up, and look at that. We used about half the runway. That's pretty amazing. This, which is really nice. So that was a really good example of a short field landing. We got plenty of runway left. All right, there we go. We made the exit without a problem. Look at that. Okay, there we go, short field takeoff, short field runway, short field landing. In Kerrville traffic, TBM is clear of runway 21 and we'll be taxiing back uh, for departure. Uh, we'll call before departing Kerrville. All right, there we go. That worked out really well, so that was easy. Trim her all back up, get her all set for our next takeoff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know a lot of times we're just doing kind of flights and long flights into bigger airports, so it's kind of good to see uh, pattern work and a shorter runway. No, I enjoy it. I really do enjoy that. All right. There. Come back up. Flaps are where they need to be. Landing lights are on, everything is good. We'll get down to the end and set everything up. Here we are again, where we started. Hill country here is just beautiful. You can see the hills. And actually those hills, when you're flying your downwind and there's a little mountain right there, you can't really see very well. So you gotta really kinda keep an eye out for the runways here. All right, so let me tell you what we're gonna do now. So we're actually gonna do a VFR departure. You probably don't see me do that too much. And um, All right, so we got another guy coming in, but he's uh, he's out a bit away. So we're gonna actually climb up. Uh, we're gonna do a pretty good climb. We're gonna climb up to about uh, 11,500 feet as we're going east and uh, we're going to do a VFR climb and then we'll call Houston Center when we get up there and uh, pick up our IFR into Austin. So this will be more of a standard departure. It's another short field departure so we're going to have because we're taking off on 2-1 again. So we want to make sure we get that right and uh, we're going to make a left turn to kind of stay in the traffic pattern and stay out of the way of the other runway and, um, and then head off to the east. So uh, so we're all set up, do my flow, make sure everything's where it needs to be, everything's on, turn the pressure on when we get there, and uh, let's go Let's go to Austin. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, short field work. So, um, all right, we'll give them a call. In Kerrville traffic, uh, TBM 910 Tango Bravo, taking runway 21 for departure. Uh, we'll be doing a left turnout departure to the east, uh, Kerrville. All right, here we go. We're clear right, there's nothing there. And use the whole runway here. The bleed on. Power's coming up. There we go, everything's in the green, engine's all in the green. 
Hour is set at 96. There we go. Airspeed's alive. There's our rotation speed. Rotate. We go. We got a good positive rate. RV three five two Alpha. Here's coming up. Northeast. Going to be entering on a midfield. Right traffic for runway one four at Gillespie. Off. Tipper's on. Good climb right here. Flaps are coming up. There's a the guy coming in on our radar, so we can see where he's at. We're going to make that left turn and stay away from him. And we'll start our turn. Take the speed. I like to climb on speed, so we're climbing at about 128 knots. There we go. There we go, 3,000 feet. It's up quick. I'm going to turn off the sep internal sep here since we're uh, going to be going up a little higher and they're free of clouds. There we go. And I'm just using my heading bug to keep my flight director kind of it in the direction I want it to be pointed at. There we go. It'll do. And Kerrville traffic, uh, TBM is uh, just uh, south of the field, climbing out at 5,000 feet, uh, last call, Kerrville. Alright, there we go. So we told them we're there. Let's do a direct to Austin. Get that in there. Let's get us pointed towards Austin. See the magenta line has got us pointed towards Austin. Turn that way. And we're continuing our climb here. And we got a little tailwind this time here, about 8 knots, and it should go to about 30 knots, which will be nice. Just there quick. You can see here I'm climbing on the flight director on uh, 129 knots on on my uh, on my speed. It's called flight level change, and I've got the nav mode up, which is following the direct right, GPS line to Austin. And we're just going to climb and get established, and then we'll give uh, Houston Center a call and pick up our uh, pick up our IFR. I like to have up. I like to have up. Um, I have a little, little, little target area here for traffic, and then I like to have up my nearest airports, which uh, just always gives me, if something happens, I know where I'm at, where I can get to from a nearest point of point of view. Pleasant is traffic. Four one five K Kilo Golf. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to Houston Center now. American 327, contact Fort Worth Center, 127.15. Have a great day. 27, 15, American 327. All right, let's put the autopilot on. There we go as we climb. And we'll do a climb checklist now. So especially when you're by yourself, I usually have help on the checklist with my co-pilot, but today I'm by myself, so one, one, and it's just really good process to put the autopilot on when you're doing that, make sure everything's good. So engine's good, uh, we're climbing to 11,000. Uh, 500 uh, VFR uh, altimeter is set. Four, three, next, so like Autopilot is on. Julian We're on nav, and we are climbing on uh, speed. Uh, torque and ITT all look good. We push forward a little bit more. Uh, engine instruments all look great. No gas messages. Pressurization is good. Coming up, uh, we're at 2,400 feet, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and change now that we're here. My landing field elevation to Austin. Uh, fuel gauges look good and balanced. Voltmeter looks great. Uh, De-icing systems not needed. Separator is off and our landing lights are off, so our climb checklist is complete. We'll level off and then we'll give uh, we'll give Houston set. And we've got to get ready to copy down our clearance, whatever that may be. Hopefully, it's direct. All right, 
here we go. We've got another plane coming at us. It's 2,800 feet above us, so we'll just have to watch him a little bit. Feather uh, 03, traffic 11 to your 12, 11, 12 o'clock and approximately 1, 8 miles opposite direction. Leave the TBM uh, one, right now 1, 1,500. Looks like they were climbing up the direction. All right, and he just called out that traffic. In Houston Center, TBM 910 Tango Bravo, we're 15 miles to the southwest of the Stonewall VOR. We'd like to pick up our IFR to Austin, and we do have that traffic you just mentioned on the scope here. We're looking out for them. 910 Tango Bravo, Houston Center, welcome to 4533. 4533, 910 Tango Bravo. All right, so they've given us a transponder code, 4533. There we go, we put that in. Let's see what they come back with on the clearance. You can see the traffic right here. Tango Bravo, you're ready to contact one four miles east of Curve there, one one thousand five hundred. You see the Austin Bridge from the direct maintain one three thousand. The Austin altimeter is three zero zero zero. All right, position checks, and we're cleared to Austin via direct maintain one three thousand and three zero 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 for nine one zero Tango Bravo. There's zero three previously called traffic, no factor. All right, so we're good to go. We're going to climb the 13, and that guy's on our left, so we'll watch for him. All right, let's see if we can see that other aircraft here. About 2,000 feet above us. Beautiful day here in Texas today. It's in the 70s. You don't get a lot of this. A little windy. There's the other aircraft right off our wing. So um, we got a thousand to go, twelve thousand for thirteen, and that'll be our cruising altitude today. Alright, so I'm going to pull this down and just give a quick review of everything we've got here. So, so here you can see this is called my my PFD, so this is primary flight display. And uh, here's, here's the altitude, we're leveling off right now at 13,000, so uh, that's our uh, our cruise altitude. Uh, we're at a speed of 188 knots, 89, and we'll speed up a bit. Um, we're on a heading of about 069 degrees, and we're following this magenta bar here, which is uh, direct to Austin, and that's been inputted from our flight plan. Um, I've got my frequencies up here. Here's my autopilot brow, so I can see where I'm at right now. Uh, nav frequencies, comms frequencies. We're on with Houston Center on 134.2. On the bottom left, that's the uh, kind of the threat target window I've got for other aircraft. It's six miles, and I've got my nearest airports right here. So that's what we got on the PFD. When you look at the yoke, it's a pretty cool yoke. Um, I mean, it feels like you're in a Star Wars TIE fighter, actually. It's beautiful. But very, very comfortable. It's got two pieces. You very rarely hold on to the right. So on the left, you've got your autopilot. This is my trim button. I've got a control wheel steering where I can change some of the autopilot functions. And I've got my comms button on the back. Um, so if I move over, this is the, um, the map, you know, the moving map display right here. And it basically tells me everything about the aircraft, right? So I've got all my engine instrumentation on the left. Um, I've got uh, cabin pressure, fuel, electrical, trims, and rudder. Uh, 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 for rudder in my flaps, and then I got a moving map on the side, and I got my flight plan on the left. And then up here, I've got my autopilot brow. Uh, these are standby instruments over here, just in case the power ever goes out. And then I've got a lot of my input pads down here. Um, so really, really simple setup. Um, and uh, we're cooking right now. We're at uh, 213 knots, and that's giving us a ground speed of about 290 knots. That's over 300 miles per hour. So uh, we're moving pretty quick with a tailwind of about 33 knots. Uh, she's come to the left a little bit, so it's about 29 tailwind. So, uh, so that's it. It's just a beautiful day out here today. Just look out the wind, or out the wing. Uh, you can see very little clouds in Texas, and uh, just a beautiful view here um, in the plane when you look out this way. We'll come back across, look out the other side. We'll give you a look in the back of the plane.
So no one back there today, which is kind of nice. It's nice to be by yourself uh, and get up here. Rally 03, don't have any traffic in your vicinity. Uh, All right, in front of so you that's there. what we got. We'll mount this back up here so you guys can see forward. Rally 03, say that last part again. Rally 03, Rally 03, Tango Bravo, Descent and Maintain 7000. Descent and Maintain 7000, 910 Tango Bravo. And they're already bringing us down. That's how quick this flight is. All right. And I went there, think a proper contact off and approach on 119.0. Have a great day. 119.0. You have a great day as well. 910, think a problem. Vectors, the RNAV 13. All right. I don't have the latest ATIS, so we're going to go ahead and catch that real quick. 1244. We'll get that in here in a minute. Approach just B25 with you, uh, heading uh, 260, uh, 6000, and level 6000. Citation 5, Papa Charlie, reduced to 170 knots. 170 knots. Bye, Papa Charlie. Jet speed 25, Austin approach, rudder. In Austin approach, TBM 910, Tango Bravo, 12,000, descending 7,000. November 5, Papa Charlie, turn right, heading 170. 70, bye, Papa Charlie. Austin, 073 on the field has the weather at executive requesting vectors to final RNAV 13. Sirius 903, Romeo Kilo, Austin Approach, expect vectors RNAV runway 13, November is current. Okay, we'll pick up November, Sirius 903 on the field. Delta 2134, contact tower 121.0. Going to tower 121.0, Delta 2134. Citation 5, Papa Charlie, descend and maintain 4000. 4000, Papa Charlie. Jet speed 25, turn left, heading 220, descend and maintain 5000. Left 220 down to 5,000, just B25. And Austin approach, TBM 910, Tango Bravo 10.8, descending 7,000. TBM 910, Tango Bravo, Austin approach, expect runway 17 left. Zero Tango Bravo. All right, expect 17 left. So I can see Austin in the distance. And uh, you can see why we, why we go out to the little airports to do some training. Uh, it's just really busy at the, uh, at the bigger airports. And look, Austin is not a huge airport. And uh, these guys are busy. Austin has one runway, one runway closed, so they've got kind of everything, uh, everything going into one runway, which makes it even busier. So we'll be behind a 737 of some sorts. Jet speed two five reduced to one seven zero knots. Traffic to follow twelve o'clock four miles southbound. Citation. We're doing a ground speed now over three hundred knots, okay, about three oh five. One seventy jet speed two five. Delta first. Good afternoon. Sirius eight two Delta Delta eighty five hundred. Sirius 82 Delta Delta Austin approach. Austin Western 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 International Airport AI pits information Delta. tangle. Wind eight five three two. Wind two one zero at one zero. Gusts two three. Visibility one zero. Two cloud at three thousand six hundred. Three zero thousand scattered. Correction one two one point zero. Temperature two two one point zero five point zero. Jet speed two five zero tracking down. Arrival is expected to get approach on the one seven left. Number three, Romeo Kilo, descending maintain three thousand. Number ten, three thousand. Notice is clear. TBM zero Tango Bravo, descend and maintain six thousand. Turn ten degrees left, vector for spacing. Descend and maintain six thousand and ten to the left. Now one zero Tango Bravo. All right, so down to 6,000, and he wants us 10 degrees to the left, so now we're over on heading mode, and now it gets fun. 134.2. 134.2, 6 on 7 Bravo Golf, good day. Good day. Approach American uh, 347, which is 6,000, heading 220. Jet speed 25, descent and maintain 3,000, Austin Airport, 15 miles south of your position. 3,000, and we have uh, the uh, airport inside, just be too fast. Jet speed 25, clear visual approach runway 17 left. Clear the visual 17 left, just speed 25. And jet speed 25, maintain 170 knots till uh, 5 mile final. 170 till 5 mile final, just speed 25. American 347 Austin approach, join the localizer on that heading track inbound. Join the localizer on this uh, heading, American 347. And American 347, descend and maintain 4000. I'm going to set up all my frequencies right now. For Austin, so we can just get the radio number two. So I got my tower. I got my tower in and my ground in. So we're aiming right at downtown right now, and I can see the airport over there to the right. So beautiful view here of Austin.
All right, we're almost leveled off at 6,000. Do a quick descent checklist, make sure we got everything done. All right. Approach is briefed. We're going to be doing a visual to 17 left. I did load in the ILS just so I've got something to follow. Our altimeters are 3000. I've got those in both. Uh, pressurization. Medium zero tango Bravo, sliding 030, vector 4 sequencing. 030, now I'm zero tango Bravo. And they're vectoring us around a little bit, which is fine. Uh, fuel gauges, landing field elevation yeah, is in at 542. Um, fuel is perfectly balanced at 79 volts. Electrical all look good. Block, Separator, uh, we'll turn that on in a bit. Passengers don't need briefing and seat belts and harnesses are checked to shake the seat. I always do a sheet, the seat shake. Uh, I don't know if everyone's at it before, but if your seat is loose and you accelerate or decelerate and go forward or backwards, it's very, very dangerous. So uh, always good, uh, good practice to do that. American 347. American 347, cleared visual approach, runway 17 left. Clear for the visual 17 left, American 347. Passing the project around, Charlie Alpha Fox, checking in, runway 1000, information, thank you. All right, so I can see the line of airplanes here. Show you what we got. Let me pull this down. Oh, so, give you a view here. So we are right here. This is direct to Austin, and we're they're vectoring us around. This is the approach line into 17 left, and you can see there are three airplanes on it already. And uh, this one's almost landing. There was an American that just got cleared, so they're going to probably move us around here and then bring us in. And uh, we'll be, uh, you know, behind some big jets or in front of some big jets. So we're going to have to manage our speed, and they'll manage it for us. They'll tell us what they want. But it's really nice where we can see that. And again, I put in the ILS just so we have the line on here. And uh, as a matter of fact, I can activate that. So let's take a look at what that looks like when I do that. So if I hit activate vector to final, you can see now I've lit it up. So uh, so that is my final approach course uh, that's in there into 17 left. So uh, so I was trying to stay ahead of the airplane, think about what what they're going to give us. And um, so they're going to fly us out here and then give us that right turn and get us in. The question is how far out will they fly us? So uh, and we're we're pretty much all set up. A uh, really good view of downtown Austin. So I'll give it to you out there. There's downtown. Um, the airport is Cine over there to the right. Cine Bravo to Cine Maintain 4000. Cine Maintain 4000, I went to your Tango Bravo. All right, down to 4000 we go. TBM 0 Tango Bravo, turn right heading 040. Right turn 040, I went to your Tango Bravo. All right, he's starting to squeeze us in a little bit. Beautiful shot of the river. American 347, contact tower 121.0. 21 American 347. TBM 0, Tango Bravo, traffic to follow 1 o'clock, 8 miles southbound, Boeing Correction Airbus, descending out of 3,700. All right, we're looking for them. 9 0, Tango Bravo. All right, so they we're going to be following. 0, Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 3,000, turn right, heading 060. On the, down to 3,000 and 060, right turn, 9 0, Tango Bravo. Right, so they're turning us in, and our one o'clock. So um, I do not see him. And turn the separator on. So we're doing a nice little turn around Austin here, which is kind of nice. And zero Tango Bravo. Is the traffic we're following over R2? Okay, affirmative. Thank you. Okay. We got him in sight. Bravo, turn right, heading 100. Right turn 100, now I'm zero Tango Bravo. All right, so I got the traffic. I see the Airbus over there. And over three, Romeo Kilo, turn right, heading 050. 050, first time, three, Romeo Kilo. It's bumpy. The airport sight. TBM Zero Tango Bravo, did you happen to call that traffic in sight and I missed it? That is affirmative. We have him in sight. 9 Zero Tango Bravo. TBM Zero Tango Bravo, follow that traffic. Cleared visual approach, runway 17 left. Caution, wake turbulence. Follow the traffic. Cleared visual approach, 17 left. 9 Zero Tango Bravo. X-ray Bravo, Charlie Alpha Fox, right okay. to Cinema so Turn 4, in a bit, and we're That's following him, and we'll probably Bravo. get some bumps.
Put down a bit. So we're on a visual approach. Positive approach, 712 Delta Sierra. Heading 080 2000 Cessna 712 Delta Sierra, Austin departure radar contact, say intentions. We'd like to do the RNAV 18 into Georgetown and then fly the publishment. Cessna 2 Delta Sierra, flighting 350, vector for right. the RNAV airport runway 18 sight. approach into Georgetown Airport. It's pretty bumpy, you guys can see that. Heading 350, vectors for the RNAV 1A into Georgetown. And we don't actually want the uh, publishers, we want to return back to San Marcos, 712 Delta Sierra. I missed that after the publish missed. You said you want vectors back to San Marcos after this? A for vectors back to San Marcos after. November 2 Delta Sierra, Roger, you can expect that. All right, so we'll do a quick landing checklist. Landing lights are on. Uh, we've got, uh, we're about to intercept the approach course here. So runway's right in front of us. We're behind an Airbus. Here we go, turning onto the approach course. It's 1,600 feet at R2. November 2, Delta Sierra, upon completion of this approach, fighting 240, maintain 3,000. No problem. Uh, by heading 240, 3,000, Delta Sierra. Sierra's 3, Romeo Kilo, 6 miles from the final approach, fixed turn right, heading 100, maintain that or above. Established means that we are lined up with course, uh, the Nadler approach course. One, three approach. Right turn one zero zero, maintain two thousand five hundred. Bumps. I see that. Uh, Airbus in front of me, so uh, we might get some pretty good bumps from him. Go down a bit. X-ray Bravo Charlie. And he's over the, the cinema, over the numbers. 3, it looks 000. like three thousand alpha function. All right. Cut it down now. I start slowing up. So I keep my speed a little bit higher here just because I don't know what's behind me. And uh, the big problem I have at big airports is uh, I'm always looking in front of me, but there's no risk I'm going to catch that 737. So I'm more worried about a 737 catching me. So, uh, all right, we got three green. We got our flaps down. And uh, I'm going to take uh, off here, the autopilot. Two one five Tango X-ray Austin. And we're going to start slowing down. And he's rolling out. Five hundred. TBM zero Tango Bravo contact approach or correction tower one two one point zero. Put a tower nine one zero Tango Bravo. Right. And Austin Tower TBM nine one zero Tango Bravo on the visual one seven left. TBM 910 Tango Bravo, star 17 left, clear to land. 17 left, clear to land, 910 Tango Bravo. All right, so we're slowing down now. Flaps coming in, and we are set up. Austin Tower is X-ray, Bravo Charlie. We got a little bit of a crosswind, we're right at 90 knots. X-ray Bravo Charlie, off Fox Charlie. up a little bit. Clear to base of final, I have one departure, part of Copy that. It's perfect, we're right at 90 knots. Three greens, everything is down. I'm having to crab a little bit to the right because of the crosswind. And it is a little bumpy, so uh, working on center line here. We're right on the center line, right at 89 knots. To southwest, 737 right there. Seven left line of weight, chest citation above, four mile base. Uh, one seven left line of weight, and here we go, there are the, the blocks. Airspeed. Perfect, right on the blocks. Look at that. Remember, is it Tango Bravo with air parking? Right at the millionaire. Tango Bravo, right on uh, Juliet, uh, left on Alpha. Right, Juliet, left Alpha, 910 Tango Bravo. All right. Here's Juliet. There's that American, that, uh, 1325, flooding 1900, or 17 left, clear for takeoff. The Southwest 737 is taking off. 17 left, clear for takeoff, Southwest 1325. And here so you can see in front of us the American Airbus that landed right in front of us. There he is. 
Got it. Tango Bravo, uh, Miguel, right at Kilo, and then Bravo Papa the Millionaire. Right at Kilo, Bravo Papa the Millionaire. Nine one zero Tango Bravo. Thanks. There is the uh, American. Got a good view of him. Like coming in from Dallas or Chicago, maybe even New York. All right, so that was it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hey, there's the uh, Southwest is taking off right in front of us. View of that. Uh, so a little bit busier here. So this is uh, exactly why I go out to a place like Kerrville to do some training. Uh, can't really do that here. So, uh, but it's good to, uh, you know, work on both. And uh, here it's all about speed, speed management. And uh, that's beautiful, that 737 taking off in front of us. Absolutely beautiful, look at that guy go. So, um, Hopefully you guys really enjoyed the flight. Um, I enjoyed it. It was good to get out. I hope everyone's staying safe uh, during this crazy COVID time. Uh, for me, it was good to get out. I haven't been out by myself in quite a while. So uh, it was nice to kind of get out and enjoy the, the good Texas weather and the hill country. And uh, I'll be back out. Yeah, I'm trying to commit myself to uh, cutting a video at least once a month and um, a bit of work on the editing and everything else. But uh, Let's see how the camera setup worked this time, and uh, hopefully you guys got a good view of, uh, you know, kind of some short field stuff over at Kerrville and uh, kind of big airport operations here in Austin, and uh, hopefully everyone's doing well. So with that, uh, take care, and we'll see you next time.